Hello there, it's Valerie, and I am starting a new venture. We are doing a podcast. <laughs> so today, the guest on my podcast is Cosetta from Setta's Place. She is a YouTuber who was born in Alabama, but has lived in Virginia most of her life. She is a part-time nanny for families um, that she's been with for about 15 years. She is no longer married, but she has a 32-year-old son whom she loves so much, and he has three dogs who she considers her dogs as well. She is a die-hard Star Trek fan, as also obsessed with turtles, has lived in Alaska for a few years, and while she was there, she and a friend started a nonprofit called Haven of Grace. On a personal note, she is one of the most genuine and sweet people I have yet followed on YouTube, so I'm excited for all of you guys to get to know her a little bit better. Well, Sada, th welcome to the podcast, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm excited to do this. So um, can you tell us a little bit about you? I covered some in your intro, but what would you say your origin story is when it comes to, you know, being a crocheter? Well, um... As most crocheters, usually they start when they're young, and that was me also. A friend of mine taught me when, in my teens. We were very crafty. Mm -hmm. We did all kinds of different crafts, and the crocheting was one that she taught me. And um, But as most people, you stop for a while, you know, you start growing up. Mm -hmm. And then in my uh, young adult, I start making little things here and there, and mainly it was blankets. I was a, I made that was actually the only thing I really did good <laughs> was blankets. I mean, huge king size popcorn wow. stitch blankets, and everybody got a blanket. You know, for years. <laughs> and then I stopped again. And um, about six or seven years ago, I started back in with making like trying my hand at hats and scarves, uh -huh. and then clothing like cardigans. And I've never stopped since. <laughs> So that's kind of where, where, where I'm at. <laughs> Very nice. I'm impressed with your ability to make blankets. I have oh, no you. patience. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I made one blanket once and it was, <laughs> it was really bad. My poor nephew that got it. Like, I I kind of hope my sister oh, no. threw it away. <laughs> <loved> it. No. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so you've been crocheting, you know, just, Pretty much all the time for the last five, seven years? Yes, literally. When I Once I got new, I could make clothing, actually, making cardigans mm -hmm. and an actual item that you could actually wear. It, it, I was astonished <laughs> that I, you know, and mm -hmm. I just, every pattern and every, and then I found YouTube at the same time. That really helped find, seeing the tutorials. Yeah. And I just, I have daily have yarn in my hand. <laughs> That's awesome. The, so segueing into YouTube, you started a YouTube channel this year. Yes. And uh, what was what was the inspiration or the goal behind that? Um, well, first, because I, I, of course, I watched it myself for the tutorials and just love, you know, the tutorials. Mm -hmm. And um, I started getting, I guess, kind of in a relationship with the people. You yeah. know, like, because you know the person, I mean, you see them and they talk about themselves. And and so they became like friends, mm -hmm. <laughs> but they don't know me. And so you get into their lives and it's like, this is they're really cool people. And then it's like, I saw actually the person who inspired me to actually get started was uh, Kristen from the Secret Yarnery. Okay. And he was just so down the earth and just being her. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I can do that. I can do that. So I did, and I finally, you know, got, you know, got past all the things of what well, people are going to see, what I look like, and what they're going to say, and mm -hmm. how I sound. And um, but after that, after I saw her and she started encouraging me, um, I just started, and I have enjoyed every minute. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm I'm glad that you shared that because honestly, I think. Of all of the people I watch on YouTube, you come across as the most down to earth, just like genuine, sweet, just like so loving. 
And so I think that's that's awesome. Thank you so much. (laughs) Well, you're welcome. Thank you for being sweet. So on your channel, you do yarn teasers, which are pretty cute. So where did you come up with that idea? Actually, it totally just happened one day. I I didn't plan it or anything. I was, it was the, my very first episode, I did my episode and all the the wonderful comments I got and the the ladies were so nice. Mm -hmm. And so the next day I was on the road again. Cause I, you know, I'm on the road all the time. <laughs> I'll explain that later. <laughs> um, and I had started a project very since the beginning of it. And I stopped for coffee and I said, well, I'm going to tell everybody, thank you. I'm going to do a real quick 30 second video and say, everybody, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. And I just had the project beside me and I just, it just came to my mind and I just said something funny and I just did it. I uh-huh. said, something. Can y'all guess what it is or whatever I said. And that was, that's how it started. And I, I had no plans. It just happened. <laughs> that's really so, cool. I think, I think there's such a fun little idea. Like <laughs> I never would have thought of about that. And when I do things on my channel, I like, I even hold up the yarn at first and I'm like, and I'm making this with this thing. And I kind of like the <laughs> element of surprise that you play with. I think that's really cool. So, um, can you guess? <laughs> <laughs> say that one more time no i just said saying can you guess like can you guess what's going to be and people are like all kinds of different guesses and they're just trying to think and and some things are really funny <laughs> but uh but it's fun to do and some they give a little rise sometimes they don't just just whatever you know mm-hmm. that is fun <laughs> so um in the intro kind of that you sent me, you mentioned that you and a friend started a nonprofit called mm-hmm. Haven of Grace. Yes. And I would, I'd love to hear about that. I mean, it just, it sounds so cool. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Well, what it was, well, I mean, go back this teeny bit. Um, my father, um, he was from in the Air Force. So mm-hmm. we, our family was all the place. So um, he's, he was in Alaska. Um, where he had moved there and my mom, my mom and dad were in Alaska. So I went there to take care of them, you know, kind of elderly, you start getting, you know, sick and things. Mm, gotcha. And um, so I moved to Alaska and there I met my friend, uh, her name is Kathy. She worked at a nonprofit already. Okay. And we became friends started working there and it was for women who were in, um, incarcerated, who were coming out, but needed uh, help getting jobs, uh, things like that, and counseling, basically, and yeah. trying to reunite the families, because, you know, kind of that separation. But yeah. anyway, so, doing that, I, we, me and her, just, you know, the Lord had just touched both of us to start a non-profit, and to doing, but ours were a little more in-depth. We had, like, uh, personal groups, mm-hmm. I mean, groups were just one-on-one, or a bunch of the ladies were together, and you would just talk and work out issues and problems and figure out how to get to the next step of the, their, you know, progression. And we even went into the, into the prison and had Oh, groups. wow. Yeah, yeah, and that was the Lord, because I don't go, because <laughs> I don't like being locked, you know, closed in, you know, places. And, oh, yeah. Um, but I listened to the Lord, and he blessed. So, and we met so many women there, and so many good things have come out, and the women have come out and are doing still doing good to this day. And um, so, it that's so that's the name of it. Haven of Grace is what what we came up with. So that's what kind of what that's all about. <laughs> that's really cool. I'm Thank I you. just even like hearing that phrase like starting a nonprofit. I'm just like, oh, that sounds so hard and like so intense and like there's just no way. <laughs> so that that's well, really awesome. It, it did it. We did it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you. <laughs> so another thing that you've been doing kind of more recently is you've started making crochet tutorials for Crochet Surprise. Yeah. So how did yes. that come about? Can you tell us, like, the story yeah. behind that? <laughs> well, um, I'll give a little background story. Um, well, first, I, my mom had given me Crochet Surprise as a, a Christmas gift. Oh, that's a subscription, fun. Like a three-month mm-hmm. thing. You know, I, of course, I told her it's what I wanted. 
<laughs> but that's same difference. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you got so, what you wanted. I love, you know, I love the products. And I had, um, it was a, it's a longer story, but I'll just give you a little bit. I had one of my patterns had got messed up by the dog. One of the, the animals that I keep, the dog oh. had ate a piece of the, the uh, pattern. Oh, geez. And I couldn't do it. So, anyway, so I, I contacted uh, Sarah, who is the, you know, co co-owner mm -hmm. and um they so sweet and nice so me and her kind of talk back and forth and just awesome people and then i got another subscription for my birthday the other three months so i was just in love with that product so after so when i started my channel i asked them i love being affiliated with you all and they said yes nice yeah so after i got the affiliation i said well i wanted to do something more so mm -hmm. I had brought, uh, well, someone had given me a suggestion about doing tutorials for them. And I went to, so I went to Sarah and um, she said she would love that idea. They were going to plan on trying to do tutorials and to give the people who have pretty surprise somewhat a tutorial to follow for each yeah. one. And that's what we're, we're doing. So that's how that got started. And like, this is my first month doing it. So I'm working on it <laughs> and presented it to them, you know, mm -hmm. so that's, so it came out pretty good. I, I, and they're wonderful people. They really are. Okay. <laughs> that's so really that's neat. Thank you. <laughs> um, so what is, what is the favorite project you've ever made? Okay. Well, my favorite, favorite actual project I first made was the, um, a, I can't think, uh, <laughs> uh a mermaid tail. I'm lost my mind. Oh yes, it's a mermaid tail. Yes. But it was it made out of Burnett blanket yarn, mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's thick and you know the, the yarn, and it came out huge. But it was awesome. But it's supposed to be it's supposed to be for like lounging in and getting in and, and pulling up to get warm. Mm -hmm. But it's in the shape of a mermaid tail, and I I just couldn't believe I made it. It came out so well, and I'm not bragging. I'm not not that. It's just it came out so nice that mm -hmm. it may inspired me like wow so like, that's why i, I can do it. this like yeah, yeah look. i can mm -hmm. do this these like um themed things i just the flat like it you know yeah so that was my first and favorite project <laughs> that i've done like that yeah <laughs> first project. well that's really cool thank you i <laughs> i have never tried something like that and you you have sleep sacks that you design now yes. as well so you kind of took took that success mm -hmm. and have channeled and it into it. <laughs> yeah I mean honestly same with me like I had one kind of successful mm -hmm. animal turnout and I was like yeah here we go <laughs> and your, yours are awesome when I first saw your your channel I was like oh, oh. <laughs> I really I love I love it. You, you do awesome work. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you. That's very sweet. I I enjoy it. It makes my heart happy. So I figure that's a good thing, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yes. So what what are some of your favorite things to watch or listen to while you crochet? Um, my well, actually, my main thing I like to do <laughs> while watching while crocheting is watch, uh, of course, YouTube, other uh, podcasters. But I also watch other tutorials while I'm doing a different project. And um, I don't know. I, I just, I, if I know my pattern and I'm working, I just be doing it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm watching a new one or something I want to do. And, you know, it's, it's awesome. Amazing. <laughs> You're just so talented. <laughs> well, thank you. I thought it was just crazy no <laughs> no talented talented <laughs> my poor little brain is like no focus on one thing one thing only <laughs> but, I, but i do enjoy that and then if i'm not watching youtube or crocheting um i like sci-fi mm -hmm. I, I love star trek yes. so i'll watch old episodes of star trek or something like that and old shows like um mission impossible the old mission impossible oh shows like that but I usually watch YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Very so. nice. Is there anything that you're obsessed with lately? Can be anything. It doesn't have to be crochet related. Could be just life. I don't know. I'm usually very obsessive. <laughs> when I get something, I do a lot or get a lot of it. So um, let's see. What am I into that's 
currently? Hmm. Hmm. I want. I love my turtles. I always. I mean, I collect my turtles, but that's all. Oh, the time. that's so cute. I have like tons of turtles. You can you see them right uh -huh. now. And um, but that's been for years. But currently, hmm. Oh, let me see. I guess my I'm back into. Uh, well, no, let me change that. Um, since the end of summer, you know, when it starts getting cooler or you think it's going to start getting cool, mm -hmm. I've really been wanting to do cowls oh, and yeah. scarves and hats. and Yeah, because I've been making a whole lot of them and wanting, you know, and uh, actually shawls, too. I haven't, I didn't usually do shawls, mm -hmm. but I've, I've been really looking. I actually bought a couple of shawl patterns, which is like, are you, yeah, I've never done it before. <laughs> So I can't wait to do work on those, but but yeah, so that's where I'm at now. Nice, that'll be fun. <clears throat> do you have any other hobbies but besides crocheting? Um, not that I'm currently doing, but yeah. I have and can. Um, uh, I do cross stitching. I have, but it's been oh, a long nice. time to do cross stitch because you know the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can sew, but I don't like to. Yeah. <laughs> I get my friend Joyce to do the sewing for me if she'll do it. But I, I used to sew like like skirts and dresses and pants and I mean I made wow. actually made items and dresses and stuff like that. And um I think those are the two main things to cro is uh sewing and cross stitching and um what well, well that's well, I still craft I book I do book scrap scrapbooking. Oh, okay. Uh, I haven't done it in a while, but I've really got into that and enjoyed it too. Mm -hmm. But so that's that's what I'm doing. <laughs> well, very nice. <clears throat> so our second to last question is going to be: How do you feel the world would change if more people crocheted? Um. Well, I I think you know because I use crochet as a way to relax and mm -hmm. to calm down. Um, and you can get a lot of thinking done, like about life. Especially if you're just crocheting and you're and you're thinking out what I'm gonna do here or what I'm gonna do next in life, mm -hmm. or if there's a problem or if there's kids kids issues, and you just crochet and relax and think about things. So if people, if more people crochet, <laughs> they would take that time to absorb that 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 routine. And it might flow over into their regular life, which would make you more happy or nicer to other people. <laughs> True. You know? So that kind of thing, I think, could flow over to your real life if you let it. If you let your joy and your your and what crochet does for you, if you could use that in your regular other other life, other life, <laughs> the rest of your life, uh -huh. it, it it would make things. It probably would make you a nicer person. <laughs> I believe it. You know, I I have a very similar feeling. You know, because it it does a uh, it kind of does the same thing for me. Just mm -hmm. stepping away from whatever problem it is, and just like there's something about working with your hands that kind of helps you mm -hmm. like calm down, breathe a little bit deeper, and yeah, to see a little more clearly. Yeah, and focus on if there is a problem, you can kind of focus on. Okay, just think about that and figure out how to work at. Mm -hmm. Like you're working your project. You yeah, know? exactly. I'm gonna... <laughs> Progress in all things. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Well, if you have one shameless plug for the audience, where do you want them to go? Do they, you want them to check out your YouTube or your Instagram or your website? Where would you like us to? Um, YouTube. YouTube. I'm not very um, internet. I mean, um, Instagram or Facebook. Or any of that, I'm not really good at it. Okay. <laughs> I push buttons and hope things happen, you know. But YouTube, I pretty much kind of can figure that out pretty well, you know, with working with it here in the past few months. So YouTube, if you want to find me, that's the best place. <laughs> All right. Well, do you have any any closing thoughts? Anything you want to share before we end? Um, let me see. Well, no, not nothing particular that. Uh, I just, uh, I just, um, I wanted to thank you for having me. Because this is an aw awesome opportunity to talk to you, actually, because you was like one of my fan people. <laughs> like you're, I'm, on, I'm one of your fans. I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm a fan of you. So, <laughs> <laughs> and 
and um, and get to talk to the the people that are watching this, and um, it's just an awesome uh, opportunity to be a part of this uh, Yarny community. And um, so, if anyone out there is wanting to join the this uh, this this neighborhood, <laughs> to come on in. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so so much for doing this podcast and for being willing to be my my first person I ever interviewed. <laughs> I, I appreciate you asking me. <laughs> well, you're just so sweet. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. You have the best laugh of anyone I know. <laughs> Thank and, you so much. <laughs> well, I really appreciate you. I hope you uh, have a good rest of your day. I guess we'll end it here. Okie dokie. Well, that was so much fun. I loved interviewing Cosetta. I, I loved getting to know her better. She really is so sweet and so kind. And um, she was the first person when I thought about doing this that came to my to my mind that I was like, you know what, Seta is going to just be such a perfect guest on on this show. And I like for me starting out and not knowing what I'm doing, like I, I can't think of anyone who would be nicer. Um, and and more loving and forgiving to start with. So I'm so grateful that she let me do this and that she consented to be on the show. So if you have enjoyed this podcast and getting to know Cosetta better, um, go ahead and head over to her YouTube channel there. She does a lot of fun things on her channel. Also, if you would like me to interview your favorite YouTube creator, I'll go ahead and let them know as well as let me know. Or if you yourself are a creator, go ahead and uh, shoot me an email at Valerie at Old Soul Crochet Co. And we'll set up a time to do an interview. I'm really excited to keep doing this as I think it will help us get to know the names and the faces in the yarn community a little bit better. Um, so I hope you enjoy this journey with me and uh, getting to meet new people. So take care and have a lovely rest of your day. I'll talk to you again soon.